this video we're going to make sodium chloride from sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. A neutralization reaction is a reaction in which an acid and an alkali react to form a salt and water. The acid we're using is hydrochloric acid. We're adding it to sodium hydroxide. And this will react to form sodium chloride and water. First we're going to measure the pH of each reactant and the pH of the products. And then we're going to separate the sodium chloride from the water. Because sodium chloride is soluble in water, we're going to use evaporation. Into this first beaker, I'm going to pour in some sodium hydroxide, which is an alkali. And into the second beaker, I'm going to pour in some hydrochloric acid, which is an acid. Now we have some indicator papers here. We have universal indicator paper, which is yellow. We have uh, a blue litmus paper, which as you can see from the color, it's blue. And we have red litmus paper, as you can see from the color, it's red. So first of all, I'm going to use the universal indicator paper to dip into the sodium hydroxide solution. And you can see it turns blue. I'm then going to add the next bit of universal indicator paper to the hydrochloric acid. And you see it goes red. So this is how we can confirm the presence of an acid and an alkali. Now I'm going to use the blue litmus paper and as you can see in the alkali it stays blue but in the acid it turns red. Similarly when we use red litmus paper in the acid it stays red but in the alkali it turns blue. We can then add a few drops of universal indicator solution and we can then compare the colors to this chart. So I'll first we'll add a few drops to the acid and you can see that it goes red and we can confirm that it has a pH of 1. Next, I'm going to add it to the sodium hydroxide. And you can see that the pH turns, the color turns very blue. And we can tell that it has a pH of 14. Next, using a measuring cylinder, I'm going to measure out 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. And then I'm going to measure out another 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. So now we're going to add the 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to the 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. And we're going to stir it using a stirring rod for one minute. Now that we've stirred the mixture for one minute, we're going to test the pH again using a piece of universal indicator paper. And we're going to compare the color to the pH chart. So we can see that the products of the reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide are neutral. They have a pH of seven. Now that we have our acid and alkali mixed together, we want to separate the water in the solution from the salt. And because we're using sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, that salt should be sodium chloride. So we're going to pour the sodium chloride and water mixture into a watch glass which looks like a big contact lens but it's made of glass. Just want to 
carefully pour this into the watch glass. We're going to pour about half of it in there. And then we're going to take this mixture on the watch glass and we're going to put it on top of a water bath very carefully. Now a water bath is a beaker of water that's going to be heated by the Bunsen burner until it boils and the heat from this will heat the mixture on top evaporating the water and leaving behind the sodium chloride salt crystals. So you can see now that the water in the water bath is starting to boil and the water from our mixture of salt and water is starting to evaporate leaving behind the solid crystals of salt. So this is how you separate a soluble salt which means it can dissolve in the water from the water. So now that all of the water has evaporated from the mixture we're going to turn the Bunsen burner off we're going to very carefully, using tongs, remove the watch glass from the water bath. And the reason why I don't want to use my hand is because that will be very, very hot. So we're going to carefully grab it with the tongs and set it down on a heat proof mat. And we're going to leave it there to cool. After the watch glass is cool, you can now see that the salt has crystallized on the watch glass. So there we have the salt that's produced from the neutralization reaction between sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid.